Russian journalist, political commentator Ivan Yakovina reported who is the guarantor of Putin's security today. In case some conspiracy arises among the local Russian elites, there are always these visiting Chechens who could protect Putin. At least the idea was that they are not connected to any clans inside Russia. They are like an external party, so they have one benefactor, one Tsar, Putin, whom they will protect with all their might. Ivan Yakovina spoke about this in one of his videos on the YouTube channel. The journalist shared his thoughts on the situation in the Kremlin. For the fact that they perform this function, these people, the Kadyrovites in Moscow, were allowed to do practically everything. That is, they could commit any criminal offenses and nothing ever happened to them for it. For example, they killed Nemtsov. They killed many others. They shot at each other several times, squeezed out entire banks and corporations. If Kadyrov senses Putin's weakness and orders his fighters to simply return to Chechnya, then this will immediately become an invitation to start a military coup in Moscow because any potential conspirators, even in Moscow, are now very afraid that they will have to fight against Kadyrov's army, which sits right opposite the Kremlin, if the conspirators try to overthrow Putin. They are afraid of Kadyrov's thugs. Again, this is another point of Putin's weakness and the place where Kadyrov holds Putin. The political observer explained. Yakovina also said that the Kremlin is in no hurry to announce mobilization because it is a threat to Putin's regime, which could be overthrown by dissatisfied masses. That is why Putin, as much as possible, postpones making such a decision, although he really needs manpower to make up for losses in Ukraine. You see, he found himself in a not very good situation for him. Putin, as they say, is not to be envied here, the journalist noted. Ivan Yakovina reported this on his YouTube channel. The political observer described the possible scenario for the future. He suggested that the occupiers would be able to slowly advance further, continuing the offensive they began this year and capturing new territories. In this way, the Russian dictator would get what he wants, namely new territories, but by that time, his army would be exhausted and without reserves. Ukraine's incursion into Russia's Kursk Oblast has rattled Russia's elite, but Russian President Vladimir Putin still has a tight grip on the country, said recently CIA Director William Burns. Burns said that the incursion launched on August the 6th was a significant tactical achievement, boosting morale in Ukraine, as well as unveiling Russia's weakness. Notably, it has raised difficult questions for Russia's rich and powerful about where this is all headed, he said.
Thank you.